Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video for you guys. But first, I want to wish everyone a blessed Beltane to all my witches out there. I hope that you're enjoying this weekend. I know I will be because here in Pennsylvania, it's just been raining nonstop, nonstop. But you know what they say, April showers bring May flowers. So I thought it was a perfect time to get a haul in and show you some goodies. So I received an Amazon gift card from my best friend, Stell. Hey, Stell. And I really decided to treat myself with some really awesome gardening supplies, some tools, and some really cute accessories that will make any gardener motivated and smile. So if you want to see what I got, then keep on watching. So I'm going to be going over the accessories first. It's the best part. Let's just start it with the bang. So I want to show you one of my favorite items first. But by the way, any of these items that I have will be linked below. So if you like anything, just check out the description and you, I'll send you right to Amazon or where I've bought in some of the other things that are non-Amazon. So the first thing that I got I'm absolutely obsessed with absolutely obsessed with is these really cute um, rubber gardening type Converse shoes they do come in a plastic holder with a drawstring but <laughs> I just like really opened it up in excitement and I really should have saved this but I did open this so I can make sure that it fits but you guys, look how cute these are. I'm totally crushing on these. Next garden accessory that I got on Amazon is this really cute hat. It says, garden hair, don't care. And look, just how adorable is this? Like, I'm going to get a lot of uses out of this. Pretty much anything that I've gotten, not only is it cute, but it's very functional and practical. But I love this. Next up, we have these really cute gardening gloves. So I actually haven't opened this up yet. So I really wanted to wait to get all of my things together before I showed you this really cute haul. But look how adorable these are. And what's nice is that these are thorn proof too. So you can definitely clean up your bushes as you see me doing here without getting any pricks. So these are super protective and really cute. Next garden accessory that I wanted to share are these really pretty earrings from Sparkling Jewelry and Accessories. I will link her website below, but let me tell you guys, she's become a friend. She lives in um, the area that I live in, Pennsylvania, and every week she does a Facebook Live, and her jewelry is only $5. So I've just been purchasing these really cute floral-type earrings from her every week. She sells these really cute headbands. So I'll show you some more items that I've gotten, but these I just like are, they will make any gardener smile. I'm obsessed with these earrings. And I've saved the absolute best accessory for last. And it's this really adorable gardening bag. And it's so cute. It's so practical. I'm going to get super, super use out of this. The bag is from Picnic at Ascot. And it really is the perfect gardening accessory. It has a whole bunch of pockets that come with these really good quality tools. It has these elastic straps to hold them in. It had some side pockets for some water. It's really just the perfect bag to have right next to your side when you're gardening. We're going to move on to the tools. So the next tool that I have is this really awesome three-way soil meter. I've been really wanting something like this for a long time. It's very, very useful and it's really a must-have for any gardener, landscaper, or someone who really wants to take care of their property and know what their soil is really composed of. This is a must-have. The second tool that I picked up is actually from Walmart. This is the Repelix Systemic um, Granular Repellent. So um, I have been using liquid fence for any of the animals and deers that like to eat on my perennials that are not pretty much deer proof all of the way. I will say that 
in the winter time when your plants do start going dormant i'm going to start putting um canvas over them breathable canvas or any plant protector because when deers are hungry it doesn't even matter if they like it or it's poisonous or whatnot they will eat it so I'm always looking for new repellents and I saw this and there's not many reviews on this systemic system. So real quick before I continue with my haul, um, how the systemic system works is that it's not a topical repellent for your plants. So basically what you're going to do is that when you have either a new plant or something a little bit more mature like this hydrangea. What you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to dig um, space in the soil. You're going to put these granulars in the ground and then you're going to cover it back up with the soil. So the way that the systemic granulars work is that the components and the active ingredients inside of here will really be soaked up by the root system and it will generate internally um, a repellent for animals. So I just find that so fascinating that you only have to do this once a year. Um, I think from the research that I've done so far, if you have a lot of blooming plants, so you'll have uh, your first bloom, I think you can apply this again. And then when your second bloom comes in, maybe in the fall time, you'll have the repellent. But I just think that it's super fascinating and worth a try to have a repellent that that really grows from inside the plant so it really takes the deer or any animal to just nibble on one of your buds or your leaves and they will completely be turned off oh you know or it just won't wash away or it won't fade out because it comes from the inside so i'm really excited to try this i have some hostas and I'm going to be planting some peonies and some of the hydrangeas that are more in its adult form. So um, if you want like maybe a two month or end of summer review on this and see because hostas, deers love. It's like a salad bar. So if I use these and they don't um, eat my hostas, I'll definitely report back and let you know how it works. Okay, and then the last tool or really supply that I have I bought from Amazon is Rose Tone and Rose Tone just the whole brand of Espoma has just been really awesome I already have Plant Tone um, if you look in my Instagram Lipstick Legion Craft in my highlights um, titled gardening um, I show you how to use the Plant Tone Plant Tone is really for like holly bushes and ornamental grasses but this is perfect for like hydrangeas and peonies and any one of your flowering plants so this is going to be awesome and I really treated myself to a bag of fertilizer because I am I just really want my plants to do well this spring and summer so a must-have this year for sure and then the last part of this haul, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are loving the things that I have. If you do, please consider subscribing, giving this video a like, possibly a share, so that way other gardeners can see the things that are on Amazon and things that they can enjoy over the season as well. So I'm first gonna go over the tubers. So it's nothing like getting plant babies in the springtime. I'm so excited. So here are some peony tubers perennials I really want to give peonies a shot this year because I do know that peonies favor cold winters they just really absolutely love it that's why in Minnesota they just grow the best peonies so I am in zone 6a that's Pennsylvania Strasburg Pennsylvania is 6a so we could have mild winters or we could have pretty harsh winters so I really wanted to invest in some root systems that will grow with me and really adjust to our climate and I hope that they thrive. I'm going to be putting these in pots so again any of these tubers or roots that I grow and you want to see any progress leave a comment down below and I'll I'll be happy to share um, their status I guess throughout this the season. I'm not expecting these to be full grown by summer this is probably going to be three years before it even looks like this picture so those are peonies and then I have a couple annuals that I got at Walmart check this out two bowls for five dollars by summertime I'm gonna have some really pretty dahlias I have some on the porch that we have redone that video is coming up soon super exciting to show you guys our whole revamped um, deck but I have two planters um, 
the spindles or on the tops of my banisters. So I'm going to be putting these annuals in. And then the last root system and, and two, I think this is bulbs. So the gladiolus never planted any of these either tubers, root systems, or bulbs. So these are again annuals. Annuals are fun because they're quick growing and they give you a lot of color. I'm not too worried about the animals here, so we'll give these a shot, but just like, look at this color combination. It's just going to be beautiful. So these are the tubers, the roots, and the bulbs that I got at Walmart. So for five, ten bucks, I mean, you really can't beat it because once these are full grown, these are going to be easily $25 to $30 um, plants at your local nursery. And then i am just been obsessing with um, hydrangeas lately. I got these at Lowe's. You guys, you're reading this right. Eleven ninety eight for these Penny Max. I just, I adore these and they are in such good condition. If you can see the flowers here, we have great flowers and you guys, you guys, yeah, I like I think I bought five of these. <laughs> I just kind of like really ransacked the rest of their supply, but I'm going to be using these as a border at the end of my driveway. So I will definitely give you an update on these because I really want to see how well these hydrangeas do in comparison to the proven winters and the endless summers that I got online. So if you really want to see that unboxing, you can go check it out. It's the, the video before this one. I'll link it below. But I really want to see how these guys perform $1,198 compared to a $35 plant. And it's way more bushier and have a lot more blooms than my endless summer and my proven winters that came in. So I'm curious to see how well these do. And I'm going to be using the systemic granulars with these two. So, and that's it. Whew, a lot. I'm so excited. I'm going to, as soon as this video is over and I'm done editing, I'm going to be putting on my gardening clothes on, I'm using my bag and my sneakers, and I'm just going to have a wonderful day. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Beltane weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.